we look at Akamai, you folks have a very strong reputation in the cloud computing uh, and security, obviously. Uh, how does this integration of Harmonix, uh, you know, VOS 360 solution advance your broader strategy for media and entertainment service? And you can also talk about your presence globally with the Linode acquisition as well. Your footprint across the world is also helping with this cause. First and foremost, I mean, Akamai has spent the last 27 years building out the world's most distributed cloud computing platform. And we believe that with the way that architectures are evolving to make media delivery services a lot more compute and memory intensive, that we are going to be able to leverage the power and the distribution of that infrastructure in order to bring better streaming experiences to users wherever they are. Now, not only do we think that we can help from a low latency delivery perspective and that consistency and the throughput that Akamai's network enables, but the ability to provide additional edge services on top of streaming is what we really think is going to make us an attractive value proposition to both streaming media companies and advertisers as we look to the future because we can have a continuum of compute resources like we're doing to support our qualified compute partners, the likes of which Harmonic is, to enable scalability of their infrastructure on top of Akamai. But then by integrating it into the Akamai cloud, we can deliver those experiences closer to where the users come online. So what that means is we can push compute and transcoding use cases for media streaming use cases closer to the, to the user, not just closer to the point of origin, like might be the case with the hyperscalers. We can also eliminate a lot of the costs that come with uh, the content of origin going to and from wherever that origin exists, whether it's an on-prem destination or in the cloud, uh, and minimize the number of round trips as well as the latency and the errors that might occur. But then as we look to the ways that threat actors are looking to compromise streams, to, to steal and pirate content on other platforms, or otherwise to have bots compromise the scalability or the monetization of an event, we also appreciate the fact that we can apply our security products at the edge so that we can identify bots, we can identify malicious activity, we can even identify pirated streams that are running on other networks, and we can take action either to thwart and frustrate them before they get access to the stream and compromise the efficacy or the quality of something that one of our uh, customers are delivering, or we can identify where somebody has pirated the media and might be either negatively impacting the brand that's delivering the origin stream because they're delivering it at a lower quality or maybe they're doing something that runs counter to what the advertising networks have agreed to do with the media partner or simply because they're otherwise uh, distributing lower quality streams that might tarnish the reputation of the company delivering that stream because people's perception will be that they won't be delivering that same high quality stream that they're used to. And because of how easy it is for some, uh, some threat actors to actually spin up compute infrastructure and run a pirated stream, it's become easier than ever for people to compromise what is a first party media stream but we're bringing technology and the visibility that we get with that global infrastructure to identify those pirated streams quickly and to take action very, very quickly so that we can make sure that only the pristine, highest quality and monetizable streaming media is making it out to customers that ultimately we believe will support our customers' brand equity and ultimately the trust that people place in them.